Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pours. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, welcome back friend. It's so good to see you again. So for today's pour, what are we doing today? Well, you saw the thumbnail, so you tell me, what are we doing today? No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I mixed up some paints. I've got them all down over here, kind of lined up in a row. And unintentionally, these paints kind of got a very rainbow vibe theme going on. So I'm gonna layer them up that way, I've decided. I'm just gonna go for it. I didn't mix up any true green. I did my other green painting today, so I'm like, yo, yeah, enough green. I'm gonna go do every other color but green. But if I lay the gold and the aquamarine next to each other here, I am most likely going to get some green. Let's see, let's see. But it's not just a rainbow metallic pearl pour. Oh no, 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 no. I am also bringing out a new toy today. A new toy, yep, it's an exciting day. This is called a Catalyst Wedge. And I saw my friend Rose, I will put a link to her channel below in the description. So go check out Rose's channel because she's a very talented artist. And I saw her using one of these Catalyst Wedges and I thought, I need to try it. I need to, it looked so cool. So I want to do one of my pearl pours here, obviously, here on the canvas here. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, I'm thinking like the idea I have in my head is kind of a diagonal, kind of double helixy, uh, DNA inspired type of like swoopty swoops through it. Two swoopty swoops. I'm seeing two swoopty swoops. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. So, first step, pearl pour, second step, catalyst wedge. So, let's get to pouring. Let's get down, let's go, come on. So I am going to layer these down, starting with, this is Extreme Sheen Berry right here. And really pretty color, one of my favorite colors, Extreme Sheen Berry. I will, of course, link all the products used down below in the description. Next up, 24 karat Extreme Sheen, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. Another beautiful, 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 beautiful color. Who am I kidding? I love all Extreme Sheen colors, so that's what I'm using today. It's Extreme Sheen. Next up, Aquamarine. And I am layering these over each other because I want to get some multicolored colored cells going on in here. Next up is the Sapphire Blue Extreme Sheen. Again, I think I've already said Extreme Sheen, like I'm using all Extreme Sheen colors today. And then the pour over, of course, is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Again, all of the colors and stuff. I always put it in the description. I try to. I do. I usually do. <laughs> and amethyst. Okay. So uh, there it is. Definitely, definitely have a rainbow vibe there. <laughs> no denying it. And next up, of course, is letting it over with my pour over. This is mixed very thin. And I'm gonna flood it up. I never used all of my plane, I always reserve some. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up here, corner. And I'm gonna go, I'm doing it a little bit different today. I'm gonna go up and then down. Over here, and then down. And I am going to take just a little bit of the black paint to get this last and final downside here. Hurdy. Okay. And I am gonna kind of just, I don't necessarily want to pull it back to the center because I didn't do, I didn't keep it centered that time. So 
just tilted it all out. So, you can see that these are popping up. I think I stretched that out enough. Now we're gonna torch it. Woo, look at these popping up here. Oh yeah. Okay, now we encourage, these have already popped up so much. This is going to be, I experimented with how I tilted it guys, so that's why you should always keep, you know, doing a little bit different, <laughs> seeing, how it, seeing how it works. I usually like corner to corner, this time I went up that way and then down this way and then final corner was this one. Okay, so this is gorgeous, and am I, I'm like, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I am going to, I'm not sure if it's all the way done developing. It really came together, this here, this, so quickly. So I'm just gonna go for it. There's the one. And there's my second one. <laughs> Do you ever like actually like get what you're going for? Yay. Because I feel like that pulled out my vision, my double helix vision. Okay. Okay, I of course will come back in and show you how this dries, but I'm loving this, so cool. I was scared to do it too many times, like I was scared it'd be like a Dutch pour where it might get muddy, but I actually, I think it needed that definition, so. So yeah, there it is. I love it. Love to hear what you think about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, stay tuned for those red results. All right, dried results. Here we go. I wanna talk about these because this was a very new thing that I was doing here and I learned something. So I wanna share with you what I learned. I should have waited for my cells to get fully developed before I went ahead with the catalyst wedge. And um, let me bring you down for kind of a close up to show you what I'm talking about here. So on this side, kind of the uh, berry golden side here, I feel like the, the design effect that came with the catalyst wedge is just really cool and those lines are still really kind of defined and sharp. I really like these kind of cool little pearls that popped through too. I thought that, I think that's really cool. But then over here, where it was definitely still developing, the cells continued to grow and they kind of pushed my lines a bit wonky on this side. So, especially in through this area, which I did flow it through kind of the black um, center or the black uh, area. And I might try to avoid the black area in the future using the catalyst wedge with metallic pearl pores because I'm definitely gonna be doing this, uh, I don't know, very soon. I have plans <laughs> for painting today, actually. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the, uh, watching me create this piece. Um, I think it dried beautifully, albeit a little wonky over there. And I really love it. Look how shimmery it still is. I haven't even burnished this, it's still so shimmery. But if you enjoyed watching me create this piece, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and be sure to hit that subscribe button with that bell notification if you would like to see a more acrylic paint pouring videos from me because that is what I do here. And as always, I appreciate you watching so much. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate each and every last one of you 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.